Hey guys, it's Audacious Extreme here, bringing you guys another Warframe tutorial. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys where to farm plastids. And so you want to head over to Mimas. M yeah, Mimas. A mission on Saturn. And I'm here with Midgetman60. So, say hey hi. Guys. So let's get started. While it loads in. Alright, yeah, All right. so... Obviously, if you guys are here, you're looking for a fast place to farm plastids, and this is a very efficient place to farm them. So, yeah. There we go, that took a while. Life support has been cut off. They're trying to choke you out. Hold on. Oh sweet, my so much just ranked up to level five. Cool. I delivered a life support capsule to the area. Activating it will buy you more time. Yeah, so this is a survival mission, guys. So, like, you just kind of kill the enemies. So, kill the enemies, get the life support, and continue. Not really too hard. Uh, all right. So, see, there's some plastids already. 21. Yeah, so, um, if you see them, either try to go and destroy, like, the crates that have the green and open them. Because a lot of times there's a chance that they can contain plastids or just anything that you're farming, for that matter. That's usually pretty helpful. Yeah, guys, I'd probably recommend save the life support until, like, I don't know, probably once you get down to about 60, then grab it, just because um, there's no point in grabbing it all the time, it's just wasting your time. Unless it's, I don't know, something you want to get done fast, then just grab all the life supports. Cause yeah, like, if you guys join a game, and, like, the people you're with don't want to leave, just start grabbing all the life supports. It'll make them leave, trust me. Into this room here, you want to make sure you open everything. That dude's got a nice bracket. Yeah, directed. I was correct. A banshee joined, so that's a cool. Yeah. So, um, also, if you guys need a place to farm Palmer Bundle, I will have a link in the description of my other video that I show you guys where to farm that, so that's pretty helpful. So, pretty oh, much. Yeah, guys, but, well, guys and girls, plastids are insanely useful for building stuff. Pretty much. The core is a lot, like, some some weapons require 600 plastids. Which, it's not really that much, but... Oh, and also you can get orcan cells here, so that's that's a plus. That's definitely a plus. But Orcan cells, I'm pretty sure you could get them anywhere. It's just a really not very common thing to get, so. So in a second, I'll check here how much I've gotten so far. That accuracy. Yeah, and if you guys are wondering on um, what Warframe I'm using, I'm using the um, the Rhino Prime, which is a very, almost, I don't, I wouldn't really say overpowered, but very strong Warframe. It has a lot of health, and then you have Iron Skin too, which makes you pretty much invincible for a certain amount of damage. So it's pretty cool. I've always pretty much been using Rhino, whether it's the Prime or just the Rhino. It's pretty much my favorite Warframe in this game. 
I use a lot of different Warframes. Yeah, he does. I'm, yeah, my main Warframe is usually a little deeper right now. I'm using a level 15 Oberon. Alright guys, what, so five minutes level I six, will... Prime. So at five minutes I'll show you guys... Um... How much I've gotten, and then like, also at ten minutes I'll show you guys. So... So pretty much this video is going to be about 10 to 12 minutes long and at the end, once we finish the mission, I will show you guys how much, um, how much plus I've got in 10 minutes, so, yeah, hopefully it's a good amount. If you guys didn't know what primer I'm using, I'm using the Paris Prime, which is very, very good. All right, I'll show you guys how many plasters I've gotten. The second, once I kill all these enemies. Wow, I am low on health. How low is low? Twenty percent health, or twenty just twenty health. But I'm healing myself. It's all good. Okay, I guess there's more enemies here than I planned. Okay. Alright, let's just check real fast. Alright, so after about five minutes, I've only gotten 84. But like I said before. Oh, I found 103. But like I said before, like, any drops in this game, it's all random. So if you get lucky, like, you could find a lot more in one stack, or, like, less. I'm sure you guys know if you play Warframe a bunch, so. Oh god. Oh god. I don't have a weapon. I don't have a weapon. AJ, help me. I don't have a weapon. Yeah, neither do I. I've no, I mean, like, I don't have a weapon in general. One of the little doggies took my weapon. Yeah, it's just laying on the ground. Yeah, this beautiful so Yeah, so, you know, that, that can happen, too. That's... That of course sucks, but yeah, it happens quite a bit. Especially the one that's like the only weapon you're using. Yes, yeah, so the dogs they can like just completely randomly just grab your weapon and just take it. So you know. So probably watch out for that, and if all of a sudden your weapon disappears, don't be shocked. Yeah, these little guys right here, they're so annoying, but they aren't too hard to kill, so it's okay. And always when you guys are doing this mission, if you're really like struggling to get the plastids that you need, just like run around by any of your teammates or like wherever they were. And like right there I just found 19. Because my teammates were killing some guys over here, so. Because you can still pick up the drops of any enemies, even if uh, you weren't around as they were killed, so. Run around. I went down. Another life support capsule. Like I said, I'm only using a level of 16 Oberon. Which isn't very that strong. That doesn't have a shield mod. And it only level 6 Soma Prime. So. I do have revives though, so I'll be fine. Uh, I'm sorry, I was gonna try to get you. No, that's fine. Whoa. What is going on? Banshee OP. That would be the Banshee. Oh. I have a Banshee, actually. I haven't used it, but I know it's. I have an unranked okay. Nova. So. They got about putting this field uh, speed build on her. And he's down again. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's gonna happen so many times. As I struggle to press the right button, I actually revive her. Sounds good. Yo man, I like your cougar. 
Yeah, man, it's pretty. And I'm not, I'm not absolutely positive, but I'm almost sure that plastids are actually a lot harder to get than polymer bundles at this point. Mm -hmm. So, so honestly, getting this is even just what I've gotten so far after ten minutes—that's a lot. Oh god, life support. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Alright, I got one right here. Alright, there we go. Even though we're going, but, you know. Oh, I'm dead. Alright, so let's go revive him. Iron skin it up, because that's overpowered. Yeah, so any of those, like, little orange and yellow, um, Orange and yellow little what? circular containers. You always want to pick those up because those are what you get the I'm plastic in. So. I'm getting puzzled at the bottom. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, yeah. Additional life support has arrived. All right, so let's come over here. Alright, one last check for some more plastics before I end this video off here. Alright, so guys, after just 10 minutes of farming plastics, I found an Orkinso, two R5 fusion cores, and 184 plastids. So, uh, thanks guys again for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Have a nice day. Excellent.